What's going on everyone? Subscribe to the channel, share with someone who you think want to hear it. If not, give a like, and if you want, leave a comment, talk about something or anything that you want. If you have a topic you want me to go over, it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, about enlightenment or so quote spirituality. So subscribe. I appreciate it. And I want to say I'm going to demystify enlightenment and go over what it actually is. Now, I did make a video about this recently, but we're going to attack the topic once again and maybe get a clearer view and more so demystify it to make it sound like something that it's not and make it bring it to you so you can um, grasp it, absorb it in. <clears throat> so we have been taught to think. And this is where evil comes from. Why people like Bill Gates, people that do certain things, terrible things to other people, because quote unquote, they don't think about it. They're just thinking for themselves, but they really don't think about it. And they're not conscious. These people who do evil things to people basically um, and that just goes off in all sorts of things, so we can just categorize it as evil, basically. Because once, once you become conscious, it's very hard for you to actually be evil. Your body will almost resist it in a way, and it will, and it just won't feel right. So, our society has brought upon us... And, and I want you to make this quick connection because I very s simplify things. I'm very good at doing this. When you think, and when, especially when you think too much, um, it becomes a norm for you. And this is where people get corrupted thoughts because they're not in control of their thoughts. They're not in control of themselves, evidently. And that's why their thoughts override them and they, all they know is thoughts. And this is where evil comes from. Like, this is direct uh, intention is the word because the intention behind your action, you don't necessarily have to think about it. But the people who are making these uh, gypsies, casting spells, these things are very real. <clears throat> They're just hidden. In fact, spelling in any language Spelling, spelling, I very, I used to listen to the words and how they actually go. If you listen to the root of the word, it's like a mumble, basically, or some or a mantra. So like, if you just like hit the thing like spelling, spell, spell, spells in, spells. It's almost like a lizard. They say we have reptilian brain. So that's where that a lot of that um, I'm not going to get into all that though. But I just want I just want you to see that these thoughts are over and riding people. And this is how evil and this negativity and the devil, because the real devil is us and it's in human form for the most part. As in, they're captured by their thoughts, and it's it's to a point where it overrides them, basically. Um, because you can think all the think all you want, you can learn all the books, you can learn all the lessons, you can go all the all these schools, you could actually learn everything in the world, but. <laughs> When you're thinking, it doesn't feel as good as feeling. So what enlightenment really is when we get to the bar of it is it's feeling around you. So once you establish 
not having any thoughts, um, the more that you're aware of your thoughts, they will just lessen and pretty much de burn by degree. If you watch them, you will see that you'll begin to feel more. What enlightenment actually is, is a feeling. That's why when you think about it <laughs> and you always have these things, oh, I got to go do yoga. I got to sit and meditate. Um, I got to do this today, that today. <clears throat> um, the, actually, it's not the same as just feeling and being there. <laughs> that's, that's demystified 101 is what enlightenment really is, is feeling something. So actually like going and touching a table, not describing it and just feeling it. Um, seeing things for how they are. When you see things for how they are, you'll see that it's more shapes, quote unquote. You aren't thinking about shapes, but you're seeing forms of things, ladies and gentlemen. You'll see how they're structured, trees. Um, and it gets deeper, so you can go into a spiritual realm. Um, that they say that is a spiritual realm, which which it is, but you can you know you can go deeper into that. Uh, zone, realm, meditation, where you actually see souls and stuff. There's ways to get there. There's a lot of stuff they don't tell us because, you know, because they're so conceited in their mind. They're so conceited because with someone with this knowledge would want to spread it, but, but there's always that opposing force, basically. It's really the same force retracting, going against, re going against each other in resistance. I want you to understand why people are evil because just because they're, they're they have negative thoughts that that's why they're evil they don't they don't know what love is they're stuck in the mind that that's literally why people are evil it's it's very simple very simple <laughs> they're not enlightened not at all <laughs> so like the people who quote unquote roll the world yeah they're they're they don't feel They can't because they're stuck in their head. The less thoughts that you have, the more you're going to feel naturally and better. Some call this Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ consciousness. Buddha. Guru. God. One love. Energy. All the other gods' names. <laughs> And so, it's all the same thing. Because <laughs> we're made of the same essence inside. So, what you're seeing on the outside is, is just deforms. You're seeing forms of things, basically. And when you become, when you be able to sit more still, so enlightenment, at the end of the day, is actually sitting still. That's why you, if you're, the only people who are not going to be able to get to enlightenment instantly, which obviously it's not going to happen to everybody instantly, and it will wear off, and they'll have to, you know, keep trying, basically, because when it happens, they don't realize how it happened. It's just like a, it's like a switch, like a focus. If you ever see a dog, like he stops immediately, or... A dog's a real good one. They, they stop immediately. And they have that laser focus. Having laser focus is enlightenment. <clears throat> so is being still. That's what it really is at its core. That's why you see people meditating all the time. You can meditate while you run. <laughs> you can meditate while you play a game. You can meditate in a conversation. You can actually have thoughts actually think about something and be meditating yes you can um now is it is it grasping you is it making you suffer is it like do you have thoughts replaying on your head all day it doesn't matter if they're good or bad but usually for most people they're negative and it's never ending and it's just boom 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 boom, boom. now if you're super exhausted somebody who's completely exhausted is not going to be able to sit still they're not, they, they, they're so exhausted, they literally can't sit still, which is only few and far between. 
they're not going to be able to get into enlightenment because they're, they, can't, they literally don't have the energy to sit still. Everyone else, any other normal person, has the energy, some capacity to sit still for a little bit and not have any thoughts. Most of the time, they don't notice it. <laughs> That's the thing. It's when you begin become aware of your thoughts going, the movie screen that's going on out here, all this exterior stuff doesn't matter because everything comes from inside. The way you feel comes in from uh, inside. And that's, it's a feeling. The way you feel, it has nothing to do with thoughts. And it's a feeling. That's why you could talk to God all day. But I'm going to tell you what, you're never going to know him until you sit still. <laughs> you can do all the prayers you want. Prayer to some prayer to some degree in its final form is sitting still <laughs> and you can and from from there from stillness which everything comes out of you can do anything <laughs> anything um, a lot of musicians and artists and creative people they come from a point of stillness but again they're not aware of this info because it's not out there uh, it more is so now to some degree, but but there's a lot of people who talk it and don't experience it. You can preach about Jesus Christ, be a devotee and God and any religion, Islam, but if you've not experienced it, it's very it's very shallow. Not saying that now the people who are doing devotion and like praising it. That is one way of getting to an enlightenment, basically. It's a very good way. I'm not going to get into that, but it's still missing the mark to some degree. <clears throat> but it's good to be in high spirits, and it's good to be happy and positive. It's better than not. <laughs> you know, people say they're stuck in their mind. When I say I'm... <laughs> people say they're stuck in their mind, which is not a good thing. Because your mind's gonna create so many stories and negative things because you're not you're not aware of your mind. You just need to step away from your mind. So like if you're if you're like doing something you hate, not following your intuition, eating garbage food that they happen to feed us, um, that's the number one war tactic if you don't know is to feed someone uh, kill off someone's supply or feed them garbage or confuse them. That's, that's all lies and that's all negative mind work, the devil's work. And feeding person garbage, giving them poisons, injections, uh, so many other, so many other things, you know what I mean? Ruining their environment, cursing people, negative r rituals, yes. Because there's only good rituals and there's bad rituals. Which one? The ones that are hidden that you don't see are usually the bad ones. <laughs> the ones that are good and clean, those, you might not see them because, because th there's reasons for that too. And they have a thing on the masses, basically. Fear, worry, these negative vibrations, these negative feels that, the, that these people feel because they're always thinking. Um, the, the, the way you think will create directly how you feel. So if you have a negative thought, you're going to feel negative just from the thought. So I hope this uh, clears it up, demystifies it. Sitting still is enlightenment. Having no thoughts is enlightenment. Um, and it's life at its core is the greatest feeling ever and you could think and do any activity but if you're not at the core at the stillness then your your mind will create serotonin up and downs in you and you'll go through the suffering so being still is enlightenment and so is having no thoughts and yes you can get to periods where you're always basically in that <laughs> yes you can and in fact and, and that's when you go into deeper stuff, but usually you need someone to guide you when you get so deep, like so deep to do certain things because there's other things you can do outside of this world, basically, the spiritual realm. <laughs> if you ever watch Avatar The Last Airbender, I know for some people it doesn't, it's known, but I'm not sure how much it airs. Aang, the actual 
airbender sometimes will go into meditation and you'll see a soul go up. Well, that's actually a real representation of our actual life. <laughs> so hopefully this makes it straightforward because I'm just, I've always been a straightforward type of guy and I'm good at explaining stuff and connecting the dots while you can see where thoughts are going to take you. Thoughts are going to take you nowhere unless you actually have to think something out. <laughs> But more, more than case, that's not so. People, oh, my thoughts, they're killing me. My mind's racing. Having a racing mind is one of the worst things you can have. <laughs> it's not good. Having a short attention span, ADHD, OCD, what, 88, or whatever the other one is, that's not good. <laughs> you want to have precision, laser, all. And it's not like... Not like something um, where you're like scared and fl fight or flight. It's like a relaxed alertness, just like an animal, basically. And also a baby. These are great examples. And living people, obviously, that are enlightened and have stillness. That's all. Have a nice day. Don't want to make this video too long. Subscribe.